Oh, hello again! This is your peer mentor, Nick. In the previous section, I taught you how to create a blended resume using PowerPoint. In this section, I will be showing you my second trick, how you can use Prezi to create a blended next-gen resume. To create a next-gen resume with Prezi, it requires one extra step of screen recording. So, unless you have a screen recording software, I will recommend you to create a blended resume with PowerPoint. But if you have a screen recording software and are interested in creating a blended resume with more dynamic transitions and animations, I'm here to help you create one from Prezi. Before I teach you how to create a Prezume, aka Prezi resume, have a look at my resume powered by Prezi. Do you like that blended resume? Did you see any differences between the PowerPoint and Prezi? Notice how there are more dynamic transitions and there are no talking. This is a very unique way of creating a video resume that can catch the people's attention. So let's get started. To begin, go to Prezi.com. If you have a Prezi account, log in. If not, sign up for an account. Keep in mind that Prezi is free for students and teachers. So if you're a student or a teacher, Search for Prezi for Education on Google. Remember to sign up with your institution's email address. If you are not in the educational field, you can always start your free trial to create a Prezume. In this screen recording tutorial, I will be teaching you three basic skills to create a Prezi. If you ever need more advanced tutorials, you can always go on to YouTube and check them out. First, let me log in. To create a new Prezi, simply click on the button that says Create a new Prezi. As you can see, there are many templates that Prezi offers. If you find one that you like, feel free to use it. Personally, I do not like using the templates because it does not show my personality and it limits my creativity. So I'm going to start a blank Prezi. And this is the interface of Prezi. As you can see, it is a very simple and easy to understand software. The three basic tutorials that I'll be teaching you is inserting frames, inserting images, and inserting animations. To insert a frame, simply drag the frame into the workspace. Frames are like slides on PowerPoint and it is very important. It is very important to have the photos and text within the frame. If the items are not in the frame, an animation cannot be applied. If you do not like the circle frame, you can always change it to brackets, rectangle, or even an invisible frame. To insert images onto Prezi, click on the button that says Insert. Under the drop-down menu, 
there are many options and things that you can insert to, into your Prezi. To insert image, simply double click on the images that you want to insert. Prezi animations are not like PowerPoint where you have to apply a specific effect. If you want to apply a zooming in effect, simply zoom in and insert the frame. If you want a rotation effect, simply rotate the frame. Now I will be teaching you how you can insert animations onto the items of Prezi. But before I teach you that, I will have to make a sample Prezi. So bear with me. To insert a text box, simply double click on the workspace. Now that I have my sample Prezi ready, I will be teaching you how you can insert animations onto the items. To insert animations onto the items of Prezi, go to the bottom left hand corner that says Added Path. Once clicked, the frame number should show up, and there should be a star next to it. Click on the star. And to apply the fade in effect, simply click on the item. If you made a mistake, you can always reset it. Once you have completed your Prezi, you can always preview your Prezi by pressing the blue button that says Present. Remember, with a resume, you will likely not be speaking, so make sure that the images and text you use are dynamic, bold, and easy to understand. Make it engaging and use a variety of transitions. You can also add background music. To do that, click on Insert, Add Background Music. If you ever need further assistance on Prezi, you can always go on to the bottom right-hand corner that says Need Help. Once you are happy with your resume, use the screen recording software to record a video of your resume. If you like, you can also add a voice recording like I did with my PowerPoint blended next-gen resume. It is up to you. If you do not have a screen recording software on your computer, it's perfectly fine. You can simply share the resume link and people can go online to see it. Congratulations! Now you have created your own resume and you can upload this resume onto your social media sites such as LinkedIn.